all the deliberations you have had this past three days is to solidify our base that you have a home returning now is no longer a surmountable and a difficult event you can use your experience to encourage the rest who are still out there to know that there is a home called Ghana. Ghana has always led in all these events from the 50s and the 60s, having notables like Martin Luther King, uh, Muhammad Ali, Cassius Clay, Maya Angelou, and forefathers and mothers who have started the journey that we are here to continue. So do not be dismayed. Yes, the journey can be arduous, it can be difficult, but do not be dismayed because the harder part is already done. I want to take this opportunity to thank you once more, the organizers, taking time out of your tight schedules, the participants, and above all, young people who came to listen, to participate, and also to share their thoughts, to believe in the government of Nana Adudanko Akufuado, that he has the diaspora at heart. Remember, he was once upon a time a diaspora. So all the decisions and all the deliberations made here, we are confident that the Office of the Diaspora Affairs will put it together and submit to the Office of the Presidency. So the forward march of ensuring your participation in governance, especially on the repeal of Article 94, Clause 2, will be a reality. So governance will not be the purview of those who were left here, but you can hold office once that full circle has been realized. Once Parliament accepts, once it's debated and it's amended, I can assure you the governance system in Ghana will be richer by the brothers and sisters who have gone out there to study and to come back. Now, one of the icing on the cake is the, the commitment by the President uh, during the 6th March celebration that 200 of our sons and daughters are going through the process through the interior ministry to be given the citizenship that is still ongoing and it is something to applaud the republic of ghana for receiving its sons and daughters through nationality so you have that badge of honor that yes i belong yes this is home and it will also send a strong signal out to the diaspora community that you have a home you have a place so please the clarion call after today's event is to pass it on, pay it forward, and I acknowledge and give homage to Dr. Erica Bennett, who 15 years ago called me out of Atlanta and said, come home. Let us all in this room continue that clarion call. Come home, come home, come home.